Ahe, Awa, Bedma, Halba, Nai, Oopa, Na Yim Nata, Ak, Somme. Hello, five chiefs here, you. My name is, my name is Strongwind from the land of Texas. You are all, we are all in the land of the Chimahueve, the Mojave, and the Cahuilla. Did you forget? These trees that everyone's talking about represent the natives that are gone now to me and to people like me. You understand? This is how passionate some of us feel about this subject. The land is the last thing that is native to this area. This ecology, these fragile ecosystems, it's the last thing living here. They predate your grandparents. I prepared a little statement here while I was sitting. This way of living is very different from my native cultural understanding. There is a fundamental philosophical difference of living in balance with nature as opposed to dominion over it. What we have here are completely different sets of values that nothing is off limits to be made a commodity of. To monetize even the water and air to destroy fragile ecosystems. Valuing that money rules and all else fails. From the native perspective, the natural state of the land is our church. Please understand that. It's not a place to go to that was built. That's the, this is, so many of us understand that now. And can relate to that understanding that the land has a spirit and you're just in the blatant disregard of that. You're destroying that spirit of this land. There's no more natives. They're gone. Those were clear cut too. The interconnectedness of all life is crucial to maintain. As stewards of the land, it is our duty especially the five chiefs, okay? I believe that there is a common ground that can be met in balance between responsibility and demand for growth of modern civilization, but it will not be met under the status quo and existing attitude towards the land and its position on the list of priorities. If those elected into positions of leadership cannot wake up to the understanding that the world's ecology must be made priority, then we have to wake them up to the facts. It is irresponsible industry that steers the bull's horns in the china shop. The consumer didn't ask for the destruction of fragile ecosystems. This taking without restriction is the tradition of manifest destiny. And frankly, who's stopping? Alex, I hate to cut you off. And for those who believe that they own the land because they have a document by way of participation of high thievery and coercion, that you can do whatever it is that you want to the land without consequence, you're short of sight. No one gives you the right to take all that you wish. You just take out of irresponsibility. The hunger of clearing the land for the sake of progress is never extinguished. Some of these trees are older than your own family's trees roots upon this continent. When your grandchildren ask you what is it that you did to prevent ecological genocide, what will you tell them? Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Is there anyone else, Madam Clerk?